the bougie show when you hear what's This is the bougie show, the bougie show. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's the bougie show when you hear what's Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's the bougie show when you hear what's we're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Boozy Show. It is a lovely Sunday afternoon in West Hollywood, California. And the performer in front of me is a chocolate playboy bunny, a producer and model. She's the foxiest of the foxes, a veteran to the adult entertainment industry. Ladies and gentlemen, little boys. <laughs> Chocolate lovers, Miss Santa Fox is in the building. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. That was very nice. You approve? I approve. Okay, I was like, oh great. yeah, I do do those things. <laughs> I will applaud that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I for was concerned. Me. Yeah, uh, what was it Friday when we got here, and I got booked. I'm like, oh, Erica, don't do this to me. I need her. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad but I could make we it able, work. Yeah, I know how your world works and things. Oh just yeah. Happen. So I, we do appreciate you here. How was your commute here? Was it okay? It was. It was really good. It, you guys are not that far, and it's not actually raining. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, it did stop early, early this morning. Mm. I want to. I want to first of all um, applaud you for your dinner that you did for black history month Yay. with uh brazzers being the sponsors if i'm not mistaken correct yes. all right, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll applaud that <laughs> we'll applaud that thank you how was that you want to touch on that before we get into the interview yeah yeah so i've been friends with uh demi sutra for a couple yes. of years yes and her and i always like call each other for tea talking okay. shit and blah 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 okay so one year we were just like man fuck it People don't care about Black History Month and we should do In something. In adult entertainment? Why, yeah. Why do, why do you, okay, I want to ask you, but <laughs> should I ask you or let you finish? No, you can ask. Okay, I want, why do you, why do, would y'all expect the industry yeah. as a whole to care about that? You know, I think once we started speaking up, we thought like maybe if we said something, somebody uh -huh. would get like shook and then change. Oh, okay. But after that, we we're like, okay, well, they're not going to do shit. Uh -huh. uh, so we just decided to do the shit that we were complaining about because mm. that's the only way to really make a change right. is if you oh, absolutely. do it. So we got up off our asses and did some anal and paid for dinner for our closest. Did, you, you said did some anal? Did some anal, yeah. Well, I, wait, <laughs> so you're at we, a dinner. What is anal? Wait, well, because we, pay, we paid for the first dinner. This is our second dinner that we did. Okay. We paid for the first dinner, and then the second dinner we had to pay up front, and then Brazzers came and like gave us a check after. Oh. So we had to pay for everything up front, up front. and then you got reimbursed. Yeah, okay. and I didn't realize how expensive dinner for okay. thirty-three people were. <laughs> so we, we did some anal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to follow up on that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I understood what you said. Yay, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth it? It was worth yeah. it. It was so awesome to see everybody there and, like, talking what they had to say and, like, just making connections. I was just, like, a proud baby mom. I'm like, oh, my yeah. God, look at all my little black children. <laughs> 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 it's time to stop the fuckery. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So are you going to try to make it an annual thing then? A hundred percent. We now, since we've talked so much shit online, we now are going to have more sponsors. Ah. So we can have it be bigger and we don't have to That's do anal nice. next year. That's nice. Yeah. Yes, Maybe yes, just yes. a hand job or two. Yes, but. We, can, we, can <laughs> we can applaud that. Yeah. <laughs> so um anna fox joining us on the boozy show i do you i personally believe that black history is american history yeah and um even though yeah it's that month but i i, I still feel like it's american history yeah. it shouldn't be a t you know what i mean it should yeah. be throughout it's throughout part, the year black history is a part of american history to yeah, the point we're where here. we're at so <laughs> um you know um but anyhow i was just wanted to touch on that so that was well that was good to hear that it went well for you um, yeah um, I want to, um, you know, while we're starting this interview, APAC president, what is that? I just wanted to know for myself. I don't know what that was uh, yes. when I was preparing for your interview. So I hope I do it right. Uh, Adult Performer Advocacy, Advocacy per Committee. Okay. So we advocate for performers okay. and like uh, if they have situations, like we point them in directions of like, well, you may need a lawyer. Here's okay. a lawyer. You might need a publicist or like here's uh clinics that are safe sex worker safe right and things like that so we just try to be like big brother big sister to okay. performers okay. what happened to the pineapple i was actually reaching out to them because uh one of the things we try to focus on on this platform is the realities of the world you guys are in and i and i and i 
hear the women express their frustrations and mm -hmm. and you know the, the the flaws that exist in the industry and i wanted I, I tried to get with them and then their twitter got shut down you know anything behind oh, that no. oh, okay i was just trying i to didn't see. know their twitter got shut down but yeah. i do use pineapple support for therapy um it actually made the most sense because I tried to do therapy before, but I would have to like run into people like, okay, so I suck dick for a living. Right. Let's get that out of the way. And they're like, well, how do you feel about it? I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I've got other issues. <laughs> that's why, honey, we applaud that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, that, and that's what I've been getting a lot. I don't know if I'm not saying, because I'm not saying I got the magic where, but they feel confined in me to where they feel like letting it all out. So even yesterday was just a lot of confessions. Going oh, on. therapy. Um, but in one girl, she said she had two therapists. I mean, is it? Do you recommend it for performers? Yeah, in the beginning or after? Mm, I think everybody kind of needs therapy if you okay. live on Earth. Okay. You know, being okay. <laughs> being real. So if you get it, the sooner the better. Right. Um. I I really like my therapist. Like I I feel like we're like homies, and I'm okay. like, oh, want to invite invite her to my bar mitzvah and stuff like that. But I, I'm glad <laughs> you brought that up because, like, especially for like black men. Um, you know, like we frown upon that. Like, you want no goddamn know. therapist? That's white folks stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. Um, you know, they I don't have, know. They have people of color therapists, right? So no, you can I get, get a black I get guy. <laughs> I get it, but it's like <laughs> we're chopping it up with your homies, isn't that yeah, therapy? It is. It is, you and it, it really is. It's practically the same, except right. your therapist holds you accountable. Ah, you know, ah. um, but it's kind of nice to have therapy, so you don't have to like dump on your friends. Uh -huh. Like I found that I used to just call my friends and be like, "Oh my god," and talk about myself for an hour, and right. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." Mm. Like, how's your day? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so just like. Appoint it to the appropriate person right. instead of exactly. Yeah, that's 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 a valid point. Um, talk to me about being on the set of HBO's Winning Time: The Rise ah. of the Los Angeles Lakers. What did oh you take God. from that experience? We'll applaud that also. Yay. By the way, thank you. Uh -huh. I was so excited because I'm such a fan of the Lakers. Oh yeah, I live in LA. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Uh -huh. And I got to fuck uh, Magic Johnson in the oh, movie. the character. The character. <laughs> And I actually like really like Magic Johnson. I used to work at Starbucks, and I met him oh, okay. in real life. And okay. uh, when they won the nationals, I like followed the parade out here. Oh. So it's kind of like full circle for me. It's like, oh, now I get to fuck the fake you. Like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is cool. That so is cool. really cool. I found that um, mainstream sets are not porn sets. I did hear you speak about that because yeah. you kept getting naked and it was like, no, yeah. you don't have to get naked. <laughs> Which is weird because I was naked. Like my role, I was naked. Right. And every, it's a house, like a sex house. So uh -huh. everybody's naked. So I was like, oh, I don't need my robe. And they're like, you should cover up. And I was like, my titties are non-threatening. Right, like, right. Are you okay? <laughs> like, are, are you sure? Uh -huh. Everybody was telling me to cover up like every two seconds. And I was just like, well, m my titties got to get acquainted with right. the environment. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I didn't realize like how offensive, like. It is to others to be nude when you're not supposed to be nude uh, versus on a porn set. Everybody's naked. And you don't even notice. Right. Like the dude's jacking off, like ordering it's Whole Foods and stuff. <laughs> like you didn't even notice. It's time to stop the fuckery. That's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you been on a porn no. set yet? You got to go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to do a documentary behind the scenes, like before and after when you're walking in to do the shoot and then how do you feel after and just, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, eventually. <sighs> we'll, 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 we'll dip into that one day. Um, Anna Fox joining us on the Boozy Show. So um, what made someone comfortable enough to approach you about joining the adult film industry? Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what made them comfortable uh -huh. enough, but I really wanted to kind of get into it because... As an adult, like exploring your sex, you're trying to figure out how to do it without like, like somebody cheating on their girlfriend uh -huh. or you fucking somebody's baby daddy mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever. So I just wanted to have like sex with people that I, that, like no strings attached right, for right, real. Right, right. And when I got approached with porn, I was like, oh, well, I don't have giant bazongas, right. but I could learn how to suck a dick. Right, like, right, right, right. So I was like, oh, this is like college for sex. <laughs> like I'll get I'll get the BJ course, I'll right. get the anal course, right. you know, the lesbian course. I'll get to try it, all the little courses in sex and like no one's going to beat me up or at least like when they call you a whore, like it's like positive. Right, right. So um, I just wanted to try porn. <laughs> and that was that? That was that, yeah. I got approached by... Uh, an agent in a club My friend was a club promoter So I used to go to the club Like Monday, Wednesday, Friday Whatever day it was open I would just go and Were just you a swing, a swing or I forgot what the word uh, Unicorn is what somebody Informed me yesterday Were you that prior to adult films? No oh. I was like Lame I was okay. not 
I wanted to be sexually active, but I, right. I like I had some sex, but it was just like, hmm. Well, they just nutted and I'm here. Right. And I didn't even know how to suck dick good either. Right, right. So I was like, this sucks. How am I going to get a husband? You know, like, right, right. I have no skills. <laughs> <laughs> I need some skills. Uh, so I just wanted to upgrade myself, I guess. Is that the farthest thing from your mind now to have a husband? Yeah, okay. pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> uh, do you work out or are you just naturally slim? <laughs> No, I'm just aware, like, I'm, I'm an active person, so okay. I'd rather not go to the gym. Right. So if, if I got to pick up a box, I'll pick up a box. Right. Like, I'm not lazy. Right. I will get on top. Right, you right, know, right. like, I, I work you. out doing normal people things, because the gym is, like, depressing. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I made a mistake. Right, when you, when you walk in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm working out my mistakes. <laughs> All those muffins and donuts. <laughs> you stated in an interview a while back that, quote, I just want to achieve happiness. It's it's not easy to be happy in this in this industry, but I've learned to accept things for what they are and be happy doing it, quote, end quote. Do you still feel that way? Yeah. Uh. I feel like being happy is like a daily choice, mm -hmm. you know? Like, you can wake up and be, like, immersed in the bullshit, or you can just be like, oh, there's a flower. <laughs> so, just, oh, just appreciate the little things. Is yeah, what like. yeah. You know, um, I try to be there for people and that can bring a lot of negativity because like people have issues and things like that. But um, just removing myself and being thankful for the things that I have is, uh, is a lot better. It's a lot like my life's so much better than it used to be. Mm -hmm. So like there's no way a, a bad day can be as shitty as a bad day when I used to work at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks was depressing for yeah. sure. A nine to five in general is depressing. It's depressing, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um. <laughs> uh, do you think? And I want to get this is a this is something I've been asking like the last few events. I I, I started it at Exotica and I, and I like to get performed, especially ones that have been established in this industry because I think your opinion matters. Do you think 18 years of age is too young to be an adult performer? Oh, my God. I almost tweeted this. Okay. Like, 48 hours ago. But I was like, damn, uh -huh. people are going to, they're going to, they're going to be so mad. But right. I do think that you should be 21 to 5 Oh, here. great. We definitely applaud I, that. I, I do think I'm a, so. I'm an advocate for that also. It's so weird. Like, yeah. you can't buy cigarettes. You can't drink. But you can do anal yeah. Yeah. and gangbangs. Yeah. Like, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think you should be You're a child coming out of high school and you're going to go on a set with grown men. You know yeah. what I mean? So, um, I even had a performer, uh, a male performer tell me um, he believed it should be 24 years of age. And I was like, wow. Well, he said, and he, he was just telling me, yeah. you know, he was, he was really telling me like the raw off yeah. the clock. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think they should try some life experience because it helps when you get here. Uh -huh. If you're 18 and you get into porn, like, oh my God, right. it's like giving meat to sharks. Like, right. Exactly. Gonna Cause they get taken advantage. <sighs> Even really a girl do. said that to me yesterday. Same. Um, yeah, no, I'm glad that you that you feel that way. Most performers do. do feel that good, way that I've good, asked. Good. That I've then asked. I'll tweet it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They most I've I've asked a pre, uh, quite a few, and they yeah, all say. Yeah, I think uh, I didn't even think about it because I started porn when I was 23. Mm -hmm. um, until I think I was like 27, and I got booked with a guy that was like he had just turned 19, mm. and I was like looking at him because I they don't tell you don't walk in with your age on your shirt, so right, it's just right. like. How old are you? Right, right, you got right. like ba baby, baby mustache. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What, how old are you? He's right. like, oh, I just turned nineteen, and I was like, Ugh. I would never do this in real life. Right. So, so like, where would where would we meet? Right. Like, right. Uh, right. Uh, uh, I don't know. I we wouldn't even meet in real life. Right. So it doesn't make sense that mm -hmm. we would work together. I agree. So after that, I was like, oh no, that age is a hard no on my. That's a, on my. Oh, notice. so you won't work with anybody no, under twenty? I don't like. I don't like it. Yeah. They're just. Cause you feel like yeah. They're not aware. They're just fucking. Right. right. It's just right, like right. like a little Hitachi just going <laughs> off, and I'm like Jack oh, Rabbit. Man. Just <laughs> yeah. They're just like not yeah. even not even yeah. here. Not understanding. <laughs> like snapping in their face. Like, do you see? Wow. Me? I didn't. That's the first time I've heard that one. Like uh, on your no checklist. Yeah, I'd rather wow. not. Got guys and girls. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Have you had ever? Have you, speaking of that no checklist, what's what consists on your no checklist? What does it consist mm. of? You got to do something to get on my no okay. list. Do you, have I, you had talents um, found their way on your no yeah, list? Yeah, yeah. And what did they do? I'm not expecting you to say their names, but what they, did they do? They, they like, 
there was some violence against women. They oh, maybe, so red flags, what yeah, you hear about, yeah, yeah. not not personal experience no, with no, them? No, 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 okay. no. If I heard that you beat up someone, no list. If if you show up on set and you, I can taste rolling loud off of you, right. no list. Like, right. I'm showing up, giving you my best. Right. I took a fucking bath for this right. shit. Right, 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 you right, could, right. You know, like, give me the same courtesy. And if you're going to drink tequila, give me some. Right, right, right. You know, <laughs> it's just, just courtesy. You got to do something to get on a no list because I'm pretty open. I don't care if you're... Or a square, a triangle, a rectangle, like. A um, and I, we got a lot going on, but I even saw it this morning. What happened with Alexis, Alexis Texas, and Avery Jane, uh, in Vegas? Oh, Alexis and Tay. Yeah, and they're yeah. going off about how they were mistreated. Yeah. Um, and they're going full throttle, yeah. letting it be known. I'm so happy for them. Um, let me ask you, um, because a thing that um I spoke with uh, Jenna Fox in Chicago. I love her. And she said that she was on a set. It was a rough scene, and the guy was just... It was it was becoming overwhelming with her. I don't know if she said it was his penis size on top of the way he used this penis. Right. And she said, you know, she asked, you know, whatever, and pinched and all that, and he just kept going. So I said, what what did the director say? And um, she said, nothing. And he, was, and he was like, you know... So I said, what'd you do? You quit? She said, did you stop and leave? She said, no, I wanted to make sure everybody got paid. Uh -huh. Right? So she went through with it, and she mm -hmm. used the words verbatim, basically raped. Yeah. Um, when you hear that, and I've had a conversation with the male performer off the clock, mm -hmm. and he said to me, listen, sometimes as male performers, we, we whatever we're on or whatever we, we're thinking about performing, that double tap or that little pinch, sometimes we're not even hearing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, seeing it, feeling it, anything. You have to say cut or stop, mm -hmm. and they will stop. I feel you. So is that not being said to the female performers out there? Hey, you got to say stop. You got to tell them, hey, man, stop, or get up, move. Like, don't sit there um, and just... What what is being discussed with you guys? Because you know, yeah, it's kind it's kind of a, a rock and a hard place because we do the consent talks before okay. you before you work, and they're like, oh well, what are your what are your safe words? What are your like? How do you want uh -huh. to cut the scene? And sometimes people put like, oh, the tap on the scene. Right. I think like the kind of discussion needs to happen like with the guy like, oh well, I won't notice a tap. You right. Know? Yes. So I agree. because it's like if she says tap and he doesn't feel tap, then like. Like it's hard for him to listen mm -hmm. to her, mm -hmm. so I just say I just say stop. Like that's that's her. I'll look at the camera and like, you know, so, yeah. like, I I will cut and I I cut for multiple reasons, not because like it's uncomfortable because I'm fucking tired and old and shit. Right, I'm right. So you're thinking about Chipotle. <laughs> like, right, 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 right. <laughs> but do you think it's healthy for like the girl, the the performers, the female performers to like do that? Do you think? Because I see a lot of girls, they're kind of skeptical about mm -hmm. coming out and say because they're worried about getting canceled and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And now you have, I don't know, I think it's y'all world now, really, yeah. in this industry where yeah. you need this vagina. We can go to OnlyFans, yeah. you, mainstream. Sure you need us a lot more now than yeah. you ever did before. Yeah. Um. So what what is going on like in in y'all world when y'all communicate with each other off the clock? What are mm -hmm. you guys actually discussing? Um. You know, I I talked to Alexis with their situation, right. and she did say like, "Stop! Like, I need to get out." Uh -huh. And what was wrong? With, what was happening? Why she wanted to stop? Uh, she was tied up in suspension. Oh, so, so oh, yeah, with bondage. Oh. Like, I've done BDSM like numerous times, and I gave myself nerve damage one time because I didn't listen to my own body when my fingers were tingling, and I was mm. like, "This is so fun! I want to die! I want to stay up!" Gave myself nerve damage, so I was like, "Okay." can't do that anymore so that's why i say stop and she said stop and they were like no we just got to get this extra shot so it's like there's everybody needs to be held accountable for their jobs like if if you tap then you need to make sure your male talent can will hear right. tap if you're the director then you need to look for tap right you know and when when somebody doesn't follow in their their accountability right. that's when it that's when it turns into rape you know and of it's course. like really unfortunate but there's it's kind of hard because everybody's independent. Like, this is an independent company. This is an independent model. Mm -hmm. So we can't just, like... Come after one... Yeah, because it's, like, an entity. So right. you got to go after the right people. And you can't really get people canceled if they're working for themselves, you know? Like, you mm -hmm. can't cancel this company if they don't think they did, did nothing wrong. All you can do is, like, warn people, like, hey, don't fuck with these people because they don't listen to no's or taps. So, so the... Was it while... Was penetration occurring when she was getting bondage or was it just too tight on her wrist and it was just um, from what, what i understand it was like a 20 extras on set they were drinking alcohol okay when she said uh let me down they left her up for 10 more minutes oh no yeah so that's like extreme like are like you really serious bad. yeah so it was like a really she must like, ain't got no cousins up. or daddies named ray ray oh god yeah <laughs> no no <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I think bitch. she's going to get a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, so. you ain't going to take me down? All right, watch when I get down and yeah. I get on this phone. <laughs> I mean, we want to be her cousin right, right, right for right, her. Right, 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 right. <laughs> That's that's unfor- I didn't realize how deep it goes. And I yeah. appreciate you sharing. Like, um, I think it, because you know they they fantasize about you guys so much, yeah. and I think it's. I mean, I, I'm sure you guys are starting to realize why it's important for you guys to speak, so they can really mm. identify with you as human beings. Yeah, and know this, this is a real deal with this oh, stuff yeah. that we're giving you. It's a lot of shit we got to go mm-hmm. through. Um, Anna Fox joining us on the Pussy Show. Wow. Um, have you personally had a talent be too rough with you? Um. Not like that. Okay. Um, I had to learn my boundaries when I started, and I, I had no idea what they were. Like, somebody could explain it to me, but until you're in a situation where you learn your boundary, you don't know. So there were so many times when I started that I was like, yeah, just fuck me up, do whatever you want. Mm. <laughs> and somebody would be like, okay. And they'd start fucking me up, but I'd be like, this is so fun. And then, like, halfway through, I'd be like, oh, my God, I can't breathe. Right. Like, you know, right. so I had to, like, teach myself my own boundaries. Um, and I think that's why I don't really have problems with uh, boundaries being overstepped. And then I look up my talent and I won't work with people that just that I don't think will mm-hmm. listen to me. You right, know, like right. if you don't respect that person, I'm not going to I'm not going to go. Yeah, next. I feel you. <laughs> so Avery Jane was there also, though, right? Uh, I, she had a separate situation. Oh, oh, OK. OK. I thought they were there together. OK. Yeah, All right. I think that, that's really to be. that's really alarming to me. Mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't realize that that. Those type of things took place. They usually don't. They oh, okay. Usually they don't. usually don't. It's yeah, just... that's this is a new one. Okay. So it's kind Especially of like... when women were there, right? Yeah, yeah. You think women, women would look out for women? Yeah, I, I, I saw think... this morning. I went to their page to see who's running it. Me I see too. Women. I was looking out. Right. Sitting ready for my tea, but <laughs> wow, wow. And you think? I mean, they were saying it's the lack of appreciation for the black female performer. I think so because when you so you on... think if there was a Caucasian performer on yeah. there, they would have cut those those ropes a lot faster. I think so. Okay. I think okay. so. I, I have had situations where I was on set where I felt the set was being uh, abused. Uh-huh. Like um, like we were being abused because they didn't give us the same amount of respect as if it were if we were like Angela White or whatever. Oh, okay, gotcha. And gotcha. in my opinion, like we all, unless you have another vagina, right. like well, why are we treating you special, right, more right, special right, than, yeah. you know? So uh, I do think that race comes into play with the budget, with how they treat mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. with the care, uh-huh. uh, all, all of the above. Uh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Uh, yes, good morning. Way to start off the one. I mean, I knew this was coming. Um, yeah. I also read that because you have long legs, it's really a challenge to find performers taller than you. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. a lot of people are smaller than what they look like yes. on camera. And like I, I've been, is being one yeah, of them. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God. I remember uh, I had met Pressure, uh-huh. and he looks like he's He's like, tall, right? No, he's not. Get out of here. <laughs> not to me. He's six so, foot or better, right? Uh, no, I felt man, like Man, that we were, dude like, looked like he height. about six too, man. No, I'm five seven, and I felt like he may have had an inch on me. Like wow. I was like, wow. Oh my god! Like if you girls knew, yeah. like if you yeah. saw them in person, I'd be like, not- this motherfucker. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, there are there are a couple of guys that are taller than me, like Isaiah and Ricky right. Johnson. Right, right, right. But uh, uh, God, I like hate love hate working with Isaiah and Ricky Johnson. They're what? like my annoying brothers. Why? They're like my. I've annoying- interviewed Isaiah. Was a yeah. great, great, great dude. Great dude. Isaiah's so awesome. We right. started. But why do you hate working with him? Because we started porn on the same day, okay. like eleven years ago, and he wasn't shooting. But he, he was a, a agent. A, a agent. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he was my agent, and then oh, to he know was him your, as wow. my agent, and, and then, then to end up performing yeah. with him. Oh. He was like, oh, I think I can do porn. And I was like, no, no, you shouldn't no. do porn. I was like, what makes you think you can do porn? And he starts smiling. He's like, I, I think I can do it. And I was like, Isaiah, no, because you're going to have to fuck me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so now every time we work together, he just gets that same smile. He's like, yeah, you're going to have to fuck me. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> wow. Is there is there a performer out there that you haven't got off your bucket list that you're in? Listen, uh, back in the back in the day, I really wanted to fuck Mandingo. Okay, because he's another person that I think people think he's taller in real life, and he's like, oh, you've shorter, seen him before? Yeah, he's okay. like, he's I'm taller than him. Yeah. So I was like, I know you got a big ass. You're taller dick. than him. Yeah. Wow. Well, never. also I wear heels too, so maybe. Yeah, I'm not but still, you would it. never think. You'd think that those guys. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like a fucking Shaq. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> no, he's like a nice, calm, like small guy, and I was yeah. like, oh. I kind of want, I kind of want to do that. Like, Dre's a big dude with a yeah, big dick, so yeah, I'm like, yeah, no, Dred's no, no, you can't be big, big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't be a bear and it, fuck me with that bear. No, 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 no. I got at least let me bear over you at some point. You know, feel like I'm in some kind of control. I gotta have some advantage. <laughs> 
was, I think Dread was, uh, not Dread, oh God, oh, Mandingo was the only person that I really wanted to work with that I hadn't worked with. Do you ever find out why those guys, do they just get too old and they leave? Or what is it? Yeah, I caught him, by the time I was ready, he was on his way out. That's, I mean, so they can no longer go? Because Dread was saying, yo, I can still go. Even though I'm up in age, I can still go. Mm, I don't know. I find, maybe if I hit him up in the DM, maybe, like, he'd be down, but... I don't know. I'm not that like slutty anymore. So yeah. I just was like, oh, he's not here. Okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, I, I, um, do you still watch your performances? I do just to see like, like I'll change my diet sometimes or like, Oh, what did my hair look like? You know, like critiquing mm -hmm. myself just to see if I'm, if I feel like I'm doing a good job. So I just, you know, check to see if I'm, oh, okay, I'd watch me. I'd, I'd jack off to that. Right, yeah. right. Okay. Um, any, um, you, you got friends in the industry. I know you got yeah, a couple. Yeah. Do you, how do you know when you can trust your peers? Mm, I feel like it's like um, when we're in private and we're talking, uh -huh. like if I throw something out there and they're like, oh, girl, like if they pick it up the way I, I feel it, then I'm like, okay, cool. We're, we're in a safe space, right. like mano y mano. Right. Yeah, but if I throw something out there and it goes over their head, I'm like, okay, well, maybe you're in the like, right. you're on the party bus with me, but right. you're like in the back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can gotcha. come, but like, I Great won't analogy. tell you. Right, right. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, advice for new female performers. Okay, advice. Um, gosh, it's especially like ones change. contemplating on coming into the industry. What, yeah. do, you, what do you say Ooh, to them? Oh God, do your research as much as you can, and like when you think you've done enough, like do some more because it's there's levels to it. Ask people. Uh, get in the DMs of like whatever thing you want to do in the sex industry. Uh -huh. Like if it's if you want to be like a. Uh, uh, like a top notch girl like if you want to be the next Abella Danger go mm -hmm. ask Abella Danger mm -hmm. you know um, go go look at how her career went and like what she said what she did and if you're okay with that mm -hmm. because it's it's a lot of fucking work and you don't realize it until you get here that you're just like now you're in it it's right. like very fast paced like you're, you're you are you're start and then you have like six shoots so uh. if you don't if you sign up to do anal and you don't want to do anal oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you know so just know your limits what you do and don't want to do research those people research the companies research the business um the history all of those things are going to come into play you know so um Avery Jane, February 7th, tweeted, quote, one day I'm going to write a book about my personal experience as a black woman in porn and no one will care the way no one cares now, end quote. Your thoughts? Mm, I'm really sad at the end of it. Okay. The no one will, no care, one will care part. Right. People will care. They will. I, I give a fuck. Right, I think right. I liked They'll it. Care. And, and it's intriguing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think... I think she should fucking do that okay. because like the perspective of a black female is different from yeah. like a white female. Right. We have books from white females perspective. So uh -huh. I would love to see her because she literally is a fucking machine. Like yes, yes, yes. Avery will do anal with her fist up her ass and just yes. smiling and eating goldfish crackers. Right. Like she, <laughs> she has no worries. She's a boss bitch. Like, and I know like, her achieving that level on herself like had to come with some shit so yeah um because i was like her i think i was her first interview i interviewed her back in 2021 oh nice she first got in the game she and, killed it from day one yeah and it's so funny when she came in the door guess who was in the building with us erica and that's oh, how really? they that's oh, how they yay. met each other <laughs> good, good. yeah she came in like the kool-aid man you know like right. kicks through the door right. that's that's avery uh. it's like oh yeah <laughs> yeah so I've, yeah, I've interviewed her twice and i got to see the significant change just from from there to exotic. Yep. Oh my God, yep. yeah. Yep. Uh, also on February 1st, you tweeted, quote, I oh raised the question every effing year about how, ma any, how many adult companies will celebrate Black History Month. We all know you guys are going to celebrate Valentine's Day, even though it's just a day, end quote. Why do you feel... <laughs> well, we already spoke about that, about why you felt like... Um, <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I just had to tweet it so that way they know that I know that they know, you know? What if they did it? Okay, what if what if they did slavery scenes with white men slave uh raping the black slave woman? Uh Ew. Adult That's films have been known I'm for in. parodies on black American culture in the past. That. They so have done that. What if somebody says, well, that's celebrating black <laughs> It is time to stop the fuckery. That's not what I meant to celebrate. Um, 
Pornhub uh, one year had put, uh, you know, on the homepage when you click in Pornhub, right. they had put just black models on the front uh-huh. for Black History Month. And I was like, oh, shit, yay. Oh, okay. Because there's a lot of people that you that I didn't know. And I was like, who is this lady? God, mm-hmm. I made so many friends that day. Right, right, <laughs> that right. month I had a whole, I was like, oh, uh, nah, 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 nah. you know, so like. They forgot after 2020 when they were trying to like march with us and shit. Uh-huh. So I just kind of like like to just throw that little pebble out there every year. Like you guys forgot I didn't. You guys could have put on a dinner like I did, but you didn't. Well, maybe they'll follow suit. Sometimes I, you got to be the one to jump out. Yeah, I don't jump mind. in the water. I don't mind shaking the waters and you know. Let me talk to you about interracial. Oh yeah. Um, while oh, we're on it, God. why interracial is so popular? Is it because of the contrast of it? I think it's the, the, the different the color penis going into the. The yeah, white skin. Yeah, just because I have a, a very um, tanned vagina. Right. <laughs> so sometimes, like, when I'm doing content, like, like with a white say, male I, performer, it's easier to see, just honestly, because. With the, like, with the white penis. Yeah, with oh, the white course. penis. I, I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, so I can get, like, it's easier to shoot, easier to see right. kind of thing. Um, same thing with, like, white on white. When a black guy is inside of white vagina, you can see that black dick. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just so, like, uh-huh. so I get, like, the aesthetics of it, uh-huh. but the term of it makes no sense. Interracial. Yes. Oh, okay. I like, like, we're just why are we still using? Yeah, why are we still, are we still using, using holding on? So it's just like the eighteen being too young. Why you guys? Are, to me, it's still men. I, I, hopefully, you yeah. women get the law, get it changed. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, I mean, we're obviously like. I just got a scene titled interracial, and it was me and another girl, and she was like. Puerto Rican and something. Oh, like, that's so I, I was like, just what? Complexion. And I'm Nigerian and Irish, and also right. I was like, what do you mean interracial? Like, what do you mean? Because I'm obviously black, and she looks a little bit more white. Right. When it. Neither so, neither one of you were well Irish. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> but I get that. what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. It's in, it's in me. I did the little DNA thing. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you spoke on this. You really prefer to work with older men. And, and so funny, I was going to ask you that, but then you spoke about not working with younger men under a certain age. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think you kind of answered that. Yeah. Weirdest thing a man has done to get your undivided attention? Oh, uh, the dick pics. <laughs> 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 the dick pics. Like, <laughs> it's just like in, in my DMs, like I'll open it. And I get bored, so I go through and I'm like, what are they saying today? And it's like, just like, here's random dick. And I'm like, no, hello? Yeah. Like, and what do you, I mean, but are dicks flattering to you to look no. at? Because I've heard a lot of women say dicks, penis aren't flattering to look at. Not unless it's like the dick that, that you, you want. want. Right, yeah, right, right, but like right. when it's just like a random dick, I'm like, oh, okay, like what do you think I'm going to do? Like, right. like start salivating. Right. Like, Where are you? Like, let me fly to India right yeah, now. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> ah, no. <yeah>. Like, <laughs> that's never. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and I like to shame people, so it's do you, Oh, so me. you do dick yeah, hum- humiliation on your OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah, I like what, to how like, do you, what do you what do you what's your what's your go-to line? When you uh, really want to when you really want to humiliate them. Whatever it is, like if they're sending me a picture of like their dick, then I'm like that little sh- look at that right. mother. You think that I would I just get a little Italian. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I would <laughs> And they love it. They do. They do. I wish more people loved it cuz it's a, it's really easy. To yeah, it's really it's an easy cash bag really for the easy. women out there. <laughs> <You're fucking. laughs> you're no fuck problem me. being a dick. <laughs> do you um do you uh do you give them like a heads up? Hey, make sure you put lotion on before you send that pic they should i mean okay. i feel like i've said it enough online like mm-hmm. like i've put on my twitter i'm like look at this guy who sent me this ashy ass dick with <laughs> like he's got like tube socks on one's high one's low right. like the trash cans full. like what now you think i'm gonna come over and suck your dick right. with the trash can right, right. no like no yeah please at least put moisturizer like right when I if I send a pussy pic like I have to like wake her up make sure she's not hanging this or that, oh you wow know, like you know make it cute so it's literally I, I refer to the vagina as a flower yeah, so yeah, like you, you have to put water it, on it and let yeah. the sun hit it yeah. let it rise up and, <laughs> and really on, blossom you know like <laughs> shake the drapes you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, when you stated that you do swallow depending on the person can you elaborate on exactly what you meant by that. Uh, uh, is it somebody you know that's healthy that eats proper what yeah, is that yeah cuz it's like the i guess cuz it's inside of you your yeah, cum that right. like you can taste what's inside of you yes. and i used to just be stupid and just be like yeah i don't care i'll eat anyone's cum but like as i like learned i was like well don't eat in anyone's cum right, like right. we got to stop eating anyone's cum you refer to it eating and not swallowing why uh, uh, I'm just sometimes curious. it can be like an oystery way. texture oh shit <laughs> <laughs> it's time to stop the fuckery 
you know, sometimes you like pick it up off your face and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it can, you can swallow it, but it's kind of edible. It's a little thick sometimes. Yeah, so don't eat anyone's cum. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you know ahead of time? How, how, how do you know? Like, um, all right, I'll do a swallow scene with if that If the person. scene has to, if it has to be swallow, then I will swallow just because, like, it's in the, it's in the, like, it's like the title is, like, swallowing cum. You know, like, okay, so this is the swallow day. But if it, if I get the choice of where the cum's going to go, I usually tell them to paint me like Picasso because I don't want to uh, eat it. Oh, you can put it on my face. Right, right. Just on me, just anywhere on me, just not in my mouth. Not in my mouth. What uh, if you could change one thing about the adult film industry? What would that be? Oh, ooh, okay. I'd change a couple of things. I change the age. To okay, from, eight, besides eighteen. Besides BTO. eighteen right. to twenty-one, and I'm. I, I don't want to think about the twenty-four yet, but it's right. not a bad idea. Right, right. Um, and then I would change like the way that we could. Um, Penalties for people doing things wrong. Oh yes, yeah, because there's no police, you know. Strikes. Not, yeah, there's no and union, not really. Yeah. So we can't really, really impact the way. Like I get mad when people fuck over my little baby Tay Tay. So you know, I would like to just like, okay, right. like you got to go to jail or something, you know? Right, like right. some consequences. There has to be repercussions. Yeah, yeah. So I, that's not a bad thing though. Like mm -hmm. a, a, a a league, um, yeah. like a player, like the NBA has a players association. Yeah. They should have that uh, performers association. Yeah, and, and, you know, we at the end of the year we have a negotiation, mm -hmm. uh, the bargaining table, and, and and you come to. These, I think I think it needs. Shoot. Yeah, because I think the adult film industry started from. I would, well, it's white men, but I just noticed that yeah. like most of the companies that own Brazzers and and yeah. and, and uh, Bang Bros and all that, they're not even. In America. No, they're Canadian. <laughs> so they're That's, like, we'll be complaining. They're like, okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. They're, I don't they're not know here. What you're talking about. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right, right. So there's a big disconnect, you know, and they don't care. They're well, like, in Canada. Why don't you guys, because, you know, I talked with Jonathan Jordan. He was the guy that said to me, um, he has his own production company. Mm -hmm. He's he's also an app performer, but he has his production. Mm -hmm. Most of his work is in Miami, but he rolls with Richard Mann a lot. Okay. And, um, he said to me, you know, I asked him, and they have a, a couple guys, they call like BBC Titans, and they have their own production company, right? And I said, well, why don't you, why isn't there, like, before the pandemic, or there was a certain time, I think it was Jake Steed and, um, what's the Spanish guy name? Um, TT Boy? TT oh, Boy? Yeah. Oh, God. They had their production companies. What happened to that? How come it's only, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like, the, the, like all where's the, the people? Where's the minority yeah. uh, production companies? There at? used to be, when I started, there are, it was actually a whole lot of minority right, right, companies right. and like slowly like here and there like i didn't even notice that it was that it had went away until people started complaining they're like where's all the black on black and i was like oh shit they're there's all none. gone there's i don't none. so I, I i don't really know what why they left but i guess like it's the rise of the independence now you know like mm -hmm. the old older generation kind of like i don't know if they're having kids or you know happily married or I, you know why, why we why we're on this conversation because I've never addressed the public and I know thousands of people are going to watch this interview. Uh -huh. um, you know, you guys out there to ask me why Javon Jordan's interview never came out. I interviewed Ooh. him when we first re, uh, started the show uh -huh. back in 2020 during the pandemic, and at this time I didn't know the importance of signing consent forms. Uh -huh. So he did the interview, and I asked him about two things. I asked him about because I was new to interviewing adult performers, mm -hmm. so I asked him about things that that I would see in the comments that people were leaving, and they uh, particularly it was a Mia Khalifa scene with Rico Strong, and I think Charlie Mack. Okay. And these guys had to use condoms. So the guys in the comments, well, why does a black guy have to use a condom on her? And oh, Johnny God. Sins doesn't, right? Ooh. But follow me. Yeah. So I asked him about it. I didn't know that he was a, another male performer. I won't say their name, but they get, because I was like, this dude is scary. Like he yeah. told me, and I said, dude, you don't have to answer. He was like, you trying to put me on the spot. I think he thought I knew more than I did. I didn't know his history uh -huh. of being blackballed because I think at the time he was doing dog fart. And I ended up speaking with Isaiah Maxwell about it. And they would use the, 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 the race play. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And he yeah, one day on the set on said, uh, I'm tired of being called the N-word. Mm -hmm. And I guess he got, you know, outlawed uh -huh. for a while. And then he yeah. and he started getting back in. So when he was like, hey, can you take this part out? And I was like, dude, I watched it. It's not that bad. He didn't say anything crazy. He uh -huh. just said, I don't really want to touch on that. That's not my situation. Again, I didn't know. So uh -huh. then I asked him about Rico Strong. When the penis injection, when the blood wouldn't go down, he had to go to the hospital. Oh, and he was yeah, just yeah. like, man, you know, I use Viagra. Whatever, the interview went smooth. There was nothing wrong with it. So I sent him the clip and he was like, man, I said, man, if we take that out, the interview is not going to match. Right. So we decided we didn't just put it out, put right? It out. But they've been asking. So I just wanted to say that out there to follow up on what you were talking about with the um, 
with the um the whole race play and and, and black production oh, companies yeah. and all that stuff. Oh, so. Yeah. Um, oh I just wanted to get the record clear on that So you guys can ask me why it never came out There you go um, <laughs> Anna Fox joining us on the Boozy Show So what else would you want to change about the adult industry Um, I, I would like it to be like The human industry You okay, know like you. not so much emphasis Like everything everything here is just like Every platform starts off white 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 right, white, right, white. Right. And it's like crazy to me that like There's so many different humans like there's there's thick women there's there's short women there's black women there's indian uh-huh. and all, like all the different kinds of people and like we focus just on that like right. that's like been our god forever like we just barely got our first black female performer of the year uh which d- is d- insane. demi 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 was it demi or kira 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 noir which is insane because like you can't tell me that like jada fire didn't like break barriers and like shit people like, shit whole up. like she's yeah. still if you if you type her name in right now i get requests for her tweet, yeah yes. like so she's She's still like an icon. So like if we had been doing our job and like highlighting everyone for who they are, we wouldn't have this like first time having a black female performer of the year. Yeah, I think it's just because and I think that's pressure coming from just society as as a whole. Yeah. um, Where they're doing that. But again, because I asked Erica this one time when I interviewed her um, and I said, do do you guys get more money when when you win the award? And she said, they don't get more money. You don't get paid more money. So what's the point of if you win an Oscar or Grammys? Yeah. You get your pay rate. True. There's no point. But it just like would be nice to be acknowledged. To be acknowledged. Even like outside of the awards, like just generally, like last year there were so many features produced, but only one all black feature. And then everybody was like, oh, that's so weird that you put all black people cast together. That's so racist. I'm like, but how? Because you guys do that in every feature. Or you might put like one person of color in there. So it's like, hey. So they're saying it's racist if you do a casting of all black performers. Yeah, yeah but it's but not. But that's been going on forever. Why is that? How is that racist? It's not. It's not at all. Like, if you can make all white features right. for, for the entire I don't year, look at all white lineup as being racist. No, it's not. <laughs> so, like, if we can just, like, mix it up, you know, like, like real life, like, people fuck different races of people. The, does, the black, does the black male performer really matter besides their penis? No, not okay. to me. Not yeah. And, yeah. it's just their penis. I yeah, a hundred percent. Unfortunately, like to me, like people matter, but like to the industry. No, no. I get it. That's what. That's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. So you, no. you knew what I meant. No, here, mm-hmm. here, no. Yeah. No. Wow. Do they? Most of them know that. No. They don't acknowledge that. <laughs> no. Wow. No. Wow. <laughs> they have no idea. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they're wow. so happy. Like not all of them. Like you know. Like there's 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 some here and there, but. Right. Like across the board, they're so happy just chilling there and like, oh, all these women want to shoot with me. Yeah, yeah. One of these guys, uh, won't say his name, but right. he didn't even notice that he didn't shoot with black women in his career so far until like they just brought it up to him. And he was like, oh, oh, shit, I didn't know. Oh, oh, shit. You know, like if you. How the hell he know that? <laughs> he stopped the fuckery on that. It is time to stop the fuckery. He didn't care. He didn't care. <laughs> and he's not even realizing that they're just using him for right, the... Right. So, it's BBC on my... Right. Da, 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 da. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, have you done, like, Slade and Blacked and all that? No, because I talk shit about Vixen, so... Oh. Yeah. You you wrote... You, you, you're cutthroat. You roll yeah. it. You roll the dice how it is? Yeah. I mean, they, they shouldn't have started it. I wouldn't have said anything. Okay. <laughs> and how, how come you weren't concerned with getting blackballed or nothing like that? Uh, because... Because facts are facts. Facts are facts. You know, Got it. We can applaud uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I was their fifth Vixen from when they started Vixen. Uh-huh. And I had worked for Vixen, Tushy, and Black. Right. So they're the first black female to do so. Super happy. And then I got on a set with when they had all just black females. And I noticed the difference from being on set where with it was all like white all white people to like when they had just black talent. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on? It was a whole whole thing not sure if you heard about banana gate at all no i have no idea so elaborate okay so uh a woman director decided to put um me demi um and two other black women i won't say their names because they didn't talk about it but on on set with her husband to shoot with him okay so i got there last and i was the extra which i thought was weird because i was the first vixen so i was like okay Whatever, whatever. It's right. my job. I don't care. Right. So they're getting, they're doing their pictures. The girls are coming upstairs with bananas. And I was like, what are the bananas for? And they're like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. So I thought there was going to be fruit and stuff. I go downstairs and like the prop is a banana. And I was like, okay, so we're going to suck the banana. And they're like, no. It's like, what are we going to do with the banana? Just hold it. Like, hold it like a purse. And I was like, 
what? And then like all four black girls lined up in a line just holding With bananas banana. in their hand. Yeah. And I was like, uh, did dude. they even know? They had no idea. So what was the purpose of them doing it then? That's what I asked. I was like, what? Nobody's ever put a Valentine's Day with a banana. Like <laughs> strawberries, <laughs> flowers. <laughs> like unless like my dude is sending me a banana to suck his. Like right. I've never been like, oh, banana is such a romantic fruit. Like uh, so then the, the house, like they had no budget for coffee. The house had cat piss on this rug. It was just like shitty, 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 shitty. Like red flag, red flag. So when the scene was over, I was like, Dear Twitter, guess what happened today? And then the company was like, oh, Anna, we want to take you to lunch. And I was like, you want to take me to lunch when you didn't have a budget for coffee? And you didn't put the heater on in this cold house? Like, it was, uh. like, cold as shit. And I was like, you would never do that to... Uh, uh, yeah, Miss yeah. White so or such on, and such. Come on, come on, you would right. never do that. And then they were like, oh, well, we can take you to lunch. And I was like, you're not going to smooth me over with an overpriced panini. No. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. So I kept talking about it, and the director was like, well, it happened, so get over it. And I was like, okay, thank you. So just continued my rant on Twitter, did some interviews with the Rolling Stone, just told, told everybody, just told it like it is. So the people that heard it, won't fuck with them for that and the people that want continue well like you now yeah, you know so at least so you know you on. yeah and every chance i get I, I just like yell a little bit at the word shows you suck bitch you yeah, know every yeah. time <laughs> <bought that>. i <laughs> do <laughs> i love it i love it i love it's it really and, and it's not like i'm a, I, I love drama or i love that i just love like calling it like the shenanigans yeah. the fuckery that you guys been getting away with over Stop all these it. decades yeah the game needs to change and i'm, I'm really happy to see women um get there just do and like have more say in the game because yeah. i really i'm a firm believer that there was a bunch of more pigs that were running this industry and you know <laughs> and and still here and, and and that's the vibe i've been getting from a lot of the female performers yeah. that i've interviewed from yesterday going on today is predatorial and yeah. that's a, that's a word that keeps getting from, popped up from some agents to the company ceos and it's like hard to change if like the person that owns it is the, the fucked up person you know mm, mm. if the ceo doesn't give a fuck then, yeah, like, then the rest of, yeah then you just got to cancel the company altogether yeah, yeah. so i really didn't care about getting blackballed after that from from the vixen i would have loved to work with slade right. but once i once they came out with that and i never got booked i was like oh so it runs deeper right. like so i i hurt your feelings for life right, right, okay right, 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 right. <laughs> next time don't use bananas yeah no we can i mean i i, I get it I, you, they have to be more conscious of yeah. what they're doing and who they're dealing with it's especially insane. you know come on come on <laughs> do you do you does like your agent or your team tell you hey chill out on calling people out stuff but when I first signed up with Erica, she was like, hey. That's why I said it. Hey, <laughs> I, uh, I know what you say. And you're not wrong. Um, you know. So <laughs> there's like there's like a there's like a, a level of like not not shut not shut up, Anna. Right. Not shut up, but just like, you know, like maybe call us first before before you go. Like maybe let's try to like resolve before behind right. the scenes before you go on Twitter and whatnot. And I'm like, well, you got 24 hours. <laughs> so you give them a deadline. Yeah. Yeah. Because Tighten I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, especially like since I learned the power of Twitter, like people listen and it, like it, it gets the ball rolling. So I'm like, Oh, well that's my, my biggest, my ally right there. If you could pick the mind of one individual dead or alive mm. over dinner, who would that be and why? And it doesn't have to be in the industry. I'm just mm. talking in general, life in general. Man, probably a dead person. They just have yeah, so who much would that wisdom. Be? I don't I'm a really big fan of Whitney Houston. Okay. Yeah. Did so, you watch her movie Did it, that came out? Did, did it come not. out yet? I don't know if it came out. I think it did, did come it? out, okay. but okay. Right. I, right. I didn't watch it because I talked too much shit about the wig in the preview. So I, I got to like... I gotta have it come out and somebody come over and put it on Netflix or something. Oh, yeah, because I think when I when I was gonna watch it, it was in the theaters and I was like, I don't know if I want to pay to talk shit about a movie like if it was Tyler Perry. You know, we talk shit about the wigs. Yeah, I want to I want to like not have the wig distract me <laughs> so I can actually like it. But what do you What do you What would you What would you ask her? Um, like about her transition in life, like from what, the church to music, yeah, or from just kind of like like from when she's started to get become Whitney Houston mm. to like her relationship with Bobby and like how how it like turned and like in ultimately ending in right, her right, death right, you right, know right, like right. that whole like 
life thing I would like to like pick her brain. You think it's because she got into a lane she wasn't accustomed, she didn't come from that lane and then it, it moved so fast it just maybe, was overwhelming? Maybe, It's like interesting to me how many celebrities like like came from nothing and yeah. then got in like Michael Jackson, you know, came in came with nothing, became a super big sensation and then ended up, ended up in a different, completely different life that right. they probably never saw when they started. Right. Like, how did you how did you get from this to that? And how would you avoid that if you could, I guess, you know? Anna Fox joining us on the, the <laughs> Boozy Show. Um, what what is the end goal for Anna? Uh, I just want to take over the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feeling? Yeah, I really like producing. Um, I like that I've done things like the first black production team for Playboy. Like, that was a pretty big thing. I never thought that I... I didn't set out to do that, but like being able to do that was really cool. So I just want to like do more like shit where I can put people in positions that I want to see. Like if I want to see more women of color here, then I want to be the boss so I can put more women of color here. You know, the disparity in the pay. Is it is it a real thing? It was a real thing. Uh. I'm sure it, it's changed, but I'm sure it still is a thing, but in a different way. Like it used to be like IR rates and things like uh -huh. that. There's no more IR rates, but I'm sure that there's a, there's a way that they still IR rate. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, but from from what I know, uh, it's gotten a lot um, more fair. Okay. Um, it's just not fair for the new people that don't know like what they can ask for mm. because you got to start off high you don't want to start off low because then you can't go high. You want to start off as high as you can and get people to pay that because they will. But a lot of people don't know that companies will pay you this for that. Um, something that's been brought to my attention from a while ago, um, getting the vulnerable girl to come in and do anal the first shoot. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Why don't they make a law for that to where, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's you got to be in the game for six months before you do anal so you can, you know what I mean? Instead of just yeah. getting misled. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've had a few girls say their first yeah, scene yeah. was anal, and I'm like, damn. Uh, yeah. But I've interviewed Blake Blossom, and she says, I don't have to do anal, and I'm not going to do anal because Tiana Trump and Sarah J have not yeah. done anal, and their career went fine. Yeah, you don't have to do anal if you don't want to do anal. But they're being, again, yeah. they're 18, they're coming in, they yep. thinking, this is what you got to do. I'm going to get $2,000 no, real quick. No, 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 no. I think it was Sky Blue said that to me yesterday. Flew in from Paris. I believe it was her. Uh huh. Yeah, flew yeah. in from Paris, and First thing like, my God, yeah. I believe like, it was her, I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. yeah, but if they knew that when they started, it would be nice. Or knew the game, could, like. Yeah, to navigate their career better. Yeah. Because you don't have to, you don't really have to do anything. People pay for pictures of feet, like. Yes. You don't have to do anything. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> um, Anna Fox, I want to get a question in from, from one of the viewers okay. that they had. Um, let me hear, because I have it on my cell phone. A viewer has a question. Yes, so, um. How long does it take for female performers to clean out for butt scenes? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out to DS Spin, D Spins 12. That was, right. <laughs> that's the question I should have expected. <laughs> um, just, I can't say for uh -huh. people because it's like your body. Like, I, I don't know how quickly, but for me, it takes me hours. Like, I, I like to take like four hours to clean out because I prefer Fiji water mm. to come out of my butt. Uh, I've been on set where Fiji water didn't come out of people's butt and that's because she didn't take four hours. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, I don't want to Nickelodeon slam someone. So I take four hours uh, and I, that's with Nickelodeon breaks. slam someone. Yeah, I got yeah, you. yeah, it's happened. <laughs> uh, speaking of Nickelodeon, you got that orange jacket on. Is that, is that represent anything? It's really cool. Yeah, it's a Playboy jacket. Oh, have, is that what that is? Playboy and everywhere. I see your shirt and I see the Fox chain. Yeah, we'll applaud all that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> is this how you usually dress? Like the whole yeah. laid back chilling? Yeah, Playboy uh, has given me so much stuff. Like half of my my closet is either fashion over oh, wow. or playboy so I have how was that of, experience of working with them really cool yeah really cool i didn't i thought they were fucking kidding when they first asked reached me. out to you yeah yeah and i only got the job because they hired me as a model first right which i was like okay yeah cool but my first set was something you would like i, I again i think when it comes to people of color like they kind of like don't get that creative so like my first set for them was like me and workout clothes which i had done like all summer that year and i was uh -huh. like what the fuck this i'm so right. much cooler than i don't even right. go to the gym right right, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's why <funny. laughs> so i like took over my set and i was like no 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 like i brought in like leather jackets and all this stuff and just right. like 
completely Spice switched it, it. And then they're like, well, you should produce for us. And I was like, yeah. And so that's what you're doing. When yeah. you said they first hired you a model. So you produce for Playboy. Yeah, I produce uh, for Playboy now. Yeah. So you like set up the scenery for the models and yeah. what they're going to do? I so hire, you, are you like a stylist? Yeah, I, okay. I do. I hire the hair and makeup. I pick their clothes. I hire the camera person, the, uh, the photographer. I pick the food. I, I buy like the backdrops and shit. Like we have pretty big budgets. So it's kind of cool. To, like, <laughs> pretty big budget. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's so what are, you, are you on a contract with them for like a certain amount of time? Uh, well, I've been working with them for three years. Um, I started oh, before cool. COVID. Okay. So there's kind of like a year where I couldn't do anything. But um, I, I don't have a contract, but I get to work with them as long as they like me and I like them. <laughs> Speaking of contract, have you been a contract? Uh, have you been contracted before with these production companies? Any um, of them? I only have a contract with Fleshlight, which is kind of cooler than that's the toy thing. The toy, uh, yeah. Okay. So my it's like a, what a vibrator hole. thing. Okay. No, it's just like a it's like a. Oh, it's a, a sculpture of, of your vagina? Yeah. And oh, you can, you okay. Can fuck the bottle. Okay, gotcha. Um, and think that you're having sex with Anna yeah, Fox. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cooler than having a contract with like browsers, let's say. Okay. Because I don't actually have to fuck, fuck to get yeah, the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Someone gets to fuck me, so. Well, I'm surprised you haven't been contracted, though, when you've had so much popula so much popularity and, and so well known. Are you surprised that I haven't been <laughs> contracted <laughs> with this family? Are you? <laughs> fuck it. I'm not. <laughs> it's okay But Ebony got contracted she And I know did. she has This big personality and, and her and I Have spoken on the phone too Yeah she has that I'm too, missing but, some assets but, but I, For no, that I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> No cause there's many women That are shaped like you That um, are that have been contracted So I black? don't think It has nothing to do With your Were breasts No um, But Ebony's black She's yeah. blacker than you <laughs> Yeah she yeah we, yeah we are We are pretty Right But she I, I'm, I'm I, You know <laughs> I guess we'll save that for part two whenever. Oh, I, I, mean, I love that you care. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I just think it's important. It um, and I think it's intriguing to the audience to how real this shit gets with yeah. you guys. Yeah, so, um, I actually had a director that shoots uh, features for black women. He just shot one for Kiara. And he was like, oh, Anna, we'd love to get your feature. You get in here and do black gangbang, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, bro, I've been here for 11 years. And, he, and you're yeah. just now asking me to do yeah. a feature? Like, yeah. no, actually, I'm gay. Actually, yeah. I don't even fuck, fuck yeah. men yeah. anymore. Like, fuck, <laughs> fuck men, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I just, I'm kind of at that point that I would love to just, like, do better things like i use my holes i'm not opposed to fucking on camera anymore but i like the producing thing i like um i'm working with urban x to help make their show better uh -huh. so i just want to do like big kid things you know like i want to adult harder if that makes sense like just just make myself proud at the end of the day you know um speaking of urban x i see bad dragon is sponsoring their uh their next event that's nice. Yeah. I hope I get a dildo from them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have really cool dildos. <laughs> they, that was actually our first sponsor for Exotica. They, really? They, 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 Did dragon. you see their little dragon dildos? Yes. Did they bring them? Did yes. you get the mini ones too? I didn't get anything. I didn't want no dildos. I've never wanted a dildo. That's in my fair. Life, so. That's fair. I can see. <laughs> they did give me the little bag with the, <laughs> the sanitizer. Okay. Well, at least you got sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Bad Drag. Um, yeah. So... Um, all right, we're going to do Moment of Truth. Moment of Truth is where I state things. Oh, I wanted to ask you this quick. When's the okay. last time you've been on a date? Ooh, I kind of go on dates kind of often. Like, okay. I just went on a girl date, like, a few nights ago. But oh, okay, I don't mean that kind of date. Yeah, but, like, yeah, <laughs> no. I go, I like to eat, so, so like, you, going to eat is a date for me. I do so if like a guy asks too. you, when is the last time you've been on a date with a guy that was interested in you? Um, probably like last week. <laughs> <laughs> but it's where'd you be. meet him from? Are you dating on Tinder? Uh, no, okay. oh no, I've never been on. Me and, and I've been. Apps. I've been hearing a lot of performers Ew. telling me they found their significant other. No, I've, I found I a just, person in real life. Okay, <laughs> like old fashioned way. Yeah, you, you like me? Uh, do it old school. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I have you. a I have a partner who I'm I'm trying my best to not be a whore on. So yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> oh, you're, you're being monogamous right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. It's, it's like a diet. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to be domesticated these days. So only for work? Yeah, only for work now. Yeah. But All right. Man. Well, God. <laughs> I, I did just get a text from like, like dudes of the past, uh -huh. like they all hit me up on the same day, and I was like, "What the fuck? Are they in a room together?" Right, right, right. You know, I was like, hit you up "What? What are they saying?" They were just like, "Hey, girl," and I was like, "Oh my god, that's like the one dick that that, like, that really yeah, <laughs> that did I was it for like, you." Oh, you could get it, you could get it, and I was like, "No, no, no, I'm doing good." Are you a size queen? 
No. You're not? No. Oh, okay. No, okay. I I used to, I was like investigating in porn. Like I would hear all these girls like, oh, bigger is better. So I'd try big dick and I was like, what the fuck are you talking mm. about? Like, mm. you lied. Yeah. You, there's so you, no you, you way. You prefer boyfriend dick. You're not, you can, you're not coming home to, to uh, Dread or Brazil. No, I, I do like boyfriend dick. I do like to challenge myself with some tequila and a big Dread dick right. from time to uh, time. Just, just to, to see just to if, where you're at with it? Yeah, they're like, oh, I conquered it. Yeah, ah, but you're not coming home no, to it. No, 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 no. She, Jenna, Jenna was an advocate for the small penis. Uh, I, I, she's like, I need small penis. Jenna I is about that. that. I remember the yeah. first time I was on set with her. She's like, I'm. I need like a minute to warm up. She's the first girl that I <laughs> saw that needed to warm up for dick. I was like, oh, you don't have like the speech with her. Like, come on, girl. Like, yeah. sing I have the tiger before. She was like, no, I gotta like <laughs> this time stretch to stop it out. The <laughs> All right, we're gonna start moment of truth. Moment okay. of truth is when I state things. If it's true, you say true. If it's false, you can say false. You say false, and then elaborate why it's false. And if you choose not to answer, you say pass. That's not tequila. Okay, I'm okay, ready. It's not I'm tequila. ready. <laughs> it's okay. You still sleep with the Hitachi next to your bed. Ah, true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if a man wants you to peg their booty, they're fruity. So the guy that you're talking to, and he and he he, he says he hey, doesn't do the pegging, right? So if he if he had a, if he deal, a strap on to, and he said, "Can you put this on and stick it in my booty I would hole?" Think are you going to think about him he's differently? Okay. Yeah, I would. Right, so, so I'll say true. So it's true. Okay, just a little true. <laughs> You've ran from a penis before. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who mm-hmm. was that? Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it in every scene. Me trying to scoot back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Isaiah's right the only one. No, I <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like half of them. I'll I'll do the scene, but I'm running in right, it. Right, right, right. <laughs> or I'm on top because I can. Yeah. I control. Can, yeah. <laughs> I was coming. Yeah. <laughs> um, you prefer an uncircumcised penis when performing anal? Is that the hoodie? No, no hoodie. No, I prefer wait. No, uncircumcised. No, uncircumcised. Uncir- yes, that's with the hoodie. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I prefer, you prefer hoodie. It. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. But aren't you concerned with the 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 stuff going around the penis and them not cleaning and just the whole butt? And- well, he should. His dick should come like I investigate beforehand. Oh, okay. It okay. should be. It should be clean. Should be, okay. It should be clean. All right. Afterwards, that's his problem. <laughs> but I have Fiji water in my butt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pr- you've been pounded so hard it was hard to walk the next day. Yes, true, for sure. Who who put that pounding on <laughs> Several you? Several people. God, Jesus <laughs> Christ, don't stop. I definitely asked for it the last time. You so. asked to be bounded out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they titled the scene um, "Beat the Brakes Off," you know, and you beat, beat the, the brakes, brakes off, off the pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The brakes were gone. Brakes were gone. The brakes so were started, gone. They started hitting the rotors. Yeah, yeah. I saw white. I was like. Oh. Oh Lord! It was lovely. Okay, <laughs> what kind of scene was that? It was for King. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. If you could turn back the hands of time, you would have handled a few situations differently with your career. Oh, true. Yeah. You, anyone in particular that hits right off the top? Uh. Mm, I would have li- like I would have liked to handle like my first few years differently. Uh huh. But there were se- there were a lot of things that were just out of my control but kind of needed to happen for me to be me today. You know, like when mm-hmm. they teach you, like, don't touch the stove, it's fucking hot. And you're like, what are you talking about? Right. But until you touch it and you're mm-hmm. like, ah, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. I needed yeah, to, I needed it. to. So you need it. Those I were did. lessons. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. <laughs> so that's true. Um, mm-hmm. You've been informed another human being to, you have informed another human being to their face that I'm not attracted to you and you, we won't be having sex ever. Probably, yeah. yeah. That's not something I wouldn't do. Okay. But if if I had to tell you to your face, that was your fault. If you for uh, not reading the room, uh, I get. I'm a Scorpio, and I give that oh, energy. Oh, 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 Are you a Scorpio yeah, yeah, too? Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I'm like, if you thought I, I will give you the eyes. Uh-huh. Like I'm so like sexual energy, like pushing. I'm all right. about that. Like you will know if I want to fuck right, you. Right, right, if right. If I didn't give it to you and you came up to me, I'd be. I'm very quick to palm the forehead. Okay. Down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. We That's your that. fault. <laughs> <laughs> We kind of spoke about this already. Okay. I don't need to say it because there's like inter- interracial films are so popular because of the high level of contrast during the penetration. But you already confirmed that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Um, Anna Fox has joined us on the booth. Well, we did an hour. We are hour and two Yay. minutes. But the floor is first of all. Let us let the that's the camera. Can you let the audience know something random or rare about you? Very uh, random or rare about you. Uh, that we would never guess. I, I did go vegan for a year and a half okay. for dick. Yeah. For, wait, wait, wait. 
for a dick. Wait, wait, wait. A dick, uh, a dick made me vegan for a year and a half. For a guy. So a guy yeah. introduced you to the vegan lifestyle. And, yeah. And, and, but it was strictly because of... The, His dick was amazing. Uh, I was so mad. I what makes so a dick mad. amazing? You know, and it was funny because this was a, a very big one. Okay. So, and I usually don't like go for... Right. Like, I'll, I'll try it, but right. I'm not going to continue. Right. And I continued and I was like, what's wrong? Right. So I don't know. He was just like the right kind of slut. Like, okay. He, he ugh, God. So it wasn't actually his penis size. It was more of how he. He could have had a smaller dick and, and still, still would have been. Yeah, good. yeah. So he was a. He did not he, need all that dick, but he yeah. had it. So <laughs> there I was eating salad for a fucking year and a half, and we didn't even. We was didn't he a even, performer? No, he oh. wasn't. We didn't even date that long. You didn't try to bring him into the industry. Mm-mm. If he, he was that well at, perf- at doing it, he's uh, he's known outside of the industry for okay. our, for other things. Did he know, did he know who you? Does he know? Did he know who you were? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, at the time when he met you, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. So okay. he was like, "I'm gonna I'm gonna try that," and he got it. He got it. <laughs> he got it. Good for him. <laughs> um. All right. Um. So that was that's cool to know. Um. Yeah. You want to let them know we have Anna Fox. She's hey. checking out. You want to let them know anything about? You got coming up or where to, where to holler at you at? Um, I do have another new production for Playboy coming out. So uh, keep your eyes peeled because I think you will like this stunning woman as much as I did. Okay. I was so gay that day. I was uh-huh. so gay. <laughs> I was so happy to touch her. <laughs> I was uh-huh. like, can I put lotion on? She right. was like, yes. I was like, mm. Mm. <laughs> moisturize the fuck out of her. Out of <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled. Um, just follow me in general on Twitter at ANA, X, Instagram, Foxy underscore Scorpio. Um, keep your eyes peeled because I do I do lots of good things, but I smoke weed, so I forget about them. Ah, right, we can applaud that, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Anna Fox has yeah. joined us on the Boo Show. We appreciate you. This was a great interview. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, and I appreciate you um, blessing the microphone yes. with your presence and your experience in your story. We do wish you the best in your future endeavors. Thank the you. one and only Anna Fox is joining us on the Boo Show. We are checking out. Yeah. Great interview that was great